everyone so tomorrow is your instrumentation examination so if you are having instrumentation as your major branch then tomorrow is a big day for you so tomorrow you are just gonna go and rock the examination okay so there is nothing like feeling pressure there is nothing like feeling demotivated if you have prepared well if you have enough confidence then you are certainly going to do well in the examination you have 180 minutes in those 180 minutes you are going to write down the best possible examination of your life okay so do not worry but this video is mainly for those guys who are having instrumentation as their secondary paper okay you could be having the your major branch as electrical or ec so now if you are having instrumentation as your secondary paper so what you should do after the exam tomorrow okay so first i will share my story so i was a gate 2022 aspirant i wrote my examination in 2022 so during my time my major branch was ec and the secondary branch was instrumentation and both of the examination were there on the same date on the same day only you are having ec exam as well and instrumentation exam as well okay ec was in morning shift instrumentation was in afternoon shift so i went to the examination hall like we need to reach early in the morning i guess around 7 am i need to reach there and i couldn't even sleep uh, yesterday night as well because it's a common thing that if tomorrow is your examination no matter how much i say that you need to sleep you need to do that thing this thing but uh, it is very tough to sleep that we already we all know but try sleeping as much as you can so i just went there and then i went to the examination hall then as we all know that question paper was tough 2022 question paper was tough but somehow i managed it and then i did the question paper and i was satisfied by the end of three hours when i submitted the question paper i was satisfied with my performance i and i thought that i have done well and now confidently i can walk out so that's the same thing i did now what happens after the examination just as your examination ends after that solution will start coming on youtube there will be a lot of educators who will be bringing the solution and that's a fine thing that's a pretty good thing it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of guts to bring those solution at that time and that's really highly appreciated but but as a student i should not have watched those solution at that time only because after 30 minutes of time i need to go back again in the examination hall for writing down my instrumentation examination because after one hour only i was having my instrumentation examination as well but what i did just as i went out of the examination hall i took the mobile from my father and started seeing the solution now there what happened was like uh, there were two questions one was from digital electronics and one was from mathematics both were pretty easy question okay both were pretty easy question so now question paper will not be released just after the examination question paper will come later on now teachers will be making the solution based on the memory based data right they will make the solution based on the memory based data data that uh, what students are telling them based on that data they will make the solution so they received some data and based on that they gave the solution and uh, what was the real data that uh, I received in the examination? Based on that data, I solved my question. They had different data. The data in the examination was different. My answer was different and their answer was different. Although their answer matched from the four options. So I did not read the question that uh, based on which data they are solving the problem. I just read the option. I marked CD. They are marking AB. And there I lost it all. Because I thought that I have matched up this, matched up this question. Second question I saw that was from mathematics. That was also easy. There also the same thing happened. I'm not saying that, that they sold the question wrong. No, they did not solve the question wrong. They sold the question based on the data that they received. But that data was wrong, no? Then I only saw these two questions and both over both questions were of two mark and I felt that I have matched up my examination. Because you see first two questions and first two questions are wrong and flashback of JE came to me because in the JE as well the same thing happened. I, Attempted 74 question after 90 and I came out of the examination hall and I was very confident. But when the answer key came, this is wrong, that is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong and that thing happened. In GE, although it did not happen in gate examination, but uh, since that thing has already happened with me, so that flashback came to my mind that, okay, this examination also I have messed up. And there I was demotivated. I did not even have the lunch. I just uh, uh, went on the examination hall without like, I was just constantly thinking about my EC question paper. And... In front of me, the instrumentation question paper has just started. So you wouldn't believe this thing, but for next 10 minutes, I did not even solve a single question from instrumentation question paper. I was just thinking about my EC question paper. In the rough sheet, I was solving a question of mathematics that I did wrong in EC examination. Okay. So in first 10 minutes of instrumentation examination, this is what I was doing because I just thought that this is my secondary paper. I don't care about that. I was not even like taking that seriously. So for, for first 10 minutes, I was doing this thing, which was a very bad thing. Okay. And that affected my rank as well. Although you will say that, sir, you are flexing your rank. You already got 45.
but yeah it affected my rank because some day if i come up with my question paper and i will show you which questions i got wrong like even if someone who has studied the subject on surface level even if someone who has studied the formula only then also he will get those questions correct but i got those questions wrong just because i was demotivated for my previous examination although it was not matched up i thought it is matched up because after the examination after giving the examination you don't know whether you performed very well you performed not that good you performed uh, how much did you perform how well you have performed you cannot analyze just after the examination right and in that manner i matched up initially like i thought that i have matched up in ec and in the initial time of instrumentation i was wasted and then i get started with instrumentation okay i slowly get started because i know that i have one 70 minutes left so i need to get started so slowly i get started so slowly i so that there are a lot of questions from common subjects so i was able to build confidence there so i kept on solving and in that manner i attempted the question paper again i was not that serious for instrumentation so in that manner only i matched up big in the instrumentation examination as well so this is what ha happened with me so what you can get from the story the story is tomorrow is your instrumentation question paper tomorrow is your instrumentation examination you are appearing as secondary question paper so after the examination hole you will not even see the solution everyone will be will bring the solution we will also bring the solution other coaching institute will also bring the solution but if you are someone from electrical then before giving your electrical examination you will not see the solution of instrumentation question paper okay just write it down in the comment section okay you will you will not write it down but write it down in a notebook that you will not see the solution of instrumentation question paper before attempting electrical question paper on 2nd of feb you will come back you you can see the instrumentation solution as well you can see the electrical solution as well but before going for electrical examination don't see the solution of instrumentation because that may create a negative impact on your brain and don't feel that if instrumentation came too easy then my electrical will also be easy or if it is tough then electrical will be will also be tough there is nothing like that there is no connection at all believe me guys there is no connection at all during my time electrical was sorry ec was very tough but electrical was very very easy same goes for instrumentation instrumentation was also very easy it was not that, that tough in 79 marks i was getting 800 score score was 800 in 79 marks so you can see the level of uh, easiness the paper was easy only are you getting this point but in uh, ec in 68 marks i was getting 900 score so are you getting this point paper level doesn't depend whether instrumentation is easy or that is tough or that is easy that doesn't depend on that so just after giving the instrumentation examination you will not even think about instrumentation but if you are someone from ec you are having your secondary examination after 15 days so if you have attempted instrumentation question paper then you can see the solution you can judge yourself based on that that how much you got wrong but if you are confident enough that the data that we are solving like i could be solving or some educators are solving so with the data that we are solving that might be wrong so you should be confident with that you should be confident on your concept that what i have done in the examination if i am confident with my answer then just be confident until final results are announced till that point you be confident with your answer okay if you feel like that this teacher is saying that that answer would be correct or that answer would be correct don't stress out till the day of your major examination don't stress out your major examination will decide what you are going to do ahead okay and even again and again i say the same thing even if you mess up in this examination this is not the end of the life this is just an entrance exam gate is just an entrance exam into the masters okay when you go into the masters you will learn a lot of new things you will realize that gate was just an entrance exam there okay and when you get into the industry you will realize that masters was just a course okay and when you gain experience in the industry then you will say that then you will talk about life okay so this is what happens so this is like like this is a process are you getting this point so this is a complete process here yeah. So don't feel like that if I mess up uh, tomorrow's examination, then what will happen in my life? Nothing, nothing wrong will happen in your life. You are 24 years old, you are 25 years old, old you are, or you are 26 years old. The life is way bigger than these entrance examination. Okay, so just have confidence in yourself, do well. And the tip that I gave you that tomorrow, if you are someone from electrical, then you will not be seeing the solution of instrumentation. If you are from EC, then you can see the solution. And uh, based on that, you can see how much marks you are getting or you can be uh, like confident enough. If you are scoring well in instrumentation, then you would be confident enough that at least I would be getting something uh, in IITs or uh, in PSUs. You will not be getting because if you are having EC as your major branch, then 
you need to uh, have the degree in EC to get a PSU from EC branch and you need to have a degree in instrumentation to get a PSUs from IN get score, right? So, but if you are scoring decent enough, then you would be securing a seat in IIT as well. So yeah, that's it. That's it from my side. So that's about the mindset that I wanted to tell you and I wanted to share the story as well that how it can affect your examination. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, if you are having any other query, you can write down in the comment section. I will try to answer that. But uh, don't uh, ask those queries that, sir, I am getting this much marks in test series. Then how much I can expect in uh, upcoming examination? How much I can expect in gate examination? That no one can tell. If you are getting 60 marks, 70 marks, 80 marks, uh, I cannot tell that how much you will be getting in the final examination. I can just tell that you need to have faith in you and whatever that you have performed, the base you have performed in the test series, if you are able to replicate the same performance in the final examination, then you will end up doing very, very well in the final examination. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.